So I was over on Sabertron's website and I was just going through their new scripts, which are pretty much identical with TFW and T-Formers. But there was one in particular and I didn't see on either other sites, but on Sabertron discussing how short pack the Bumblebee is. So if you're familiar with Treasure Hunt, your Hot Wheel collector, in the old days before they went to Super and regular and, you know, all that. Every time you got a case of Hot Wheels, there was one treasure. So at a case of 72, you got one. If you went to the K days before they did all that split, they usually split it into a case of 36. They're half cases, and usually people buy the whole case, but pretty much, you know, because you got special decos on top of that, but it would always be a treasure. Now, when they went to the split of treasure hunts being super and non super because people complained, then the dispersity of the super treasure hunts got even worse. So, what has happened to Bumblebee? Bumblebee has been severely short packed for the next two waves. Now, this is the K case, um, and he is one two way case. So, we're gonna look at the case contents real quick. Um, and you can see the Bumblebee right there below. I think that's a tuned Porsche. So on the upper left, he is the second car from the top. Do you see him packed any other way? Do you see any doubles or anything? Keep looking because I don't see him. And well, that's going to be a bad thing. And we'll discuss that um, as we go through. Um, I don't collect Hot Wheels like that. I, I stepped away from Hot Wheels. I think Hot Wheels collecting is just idiotic. Most of the collectors Hot Wheels are pretty much, yeah, I don't like dealing with them. A lot of them are shady, man. I mean, I've had dealings with them for at least a good 15 years, a lot of Hot Wheel collectors, and I only met one that was, you know, legit. Other than that, most of, most, most of them are, they, they just, trust me, you, you want to, <laughs> but, I don't like talking about this, but you get what I'm saying. And then here comes punk ass entertainment earth. We could sell you the case for 199, dollars Motherfuckers. The damn cars are a dollar a piece. Times 72 is simply $72. And maybe to upcharge like some of the other places that sell cases, maybe 80, 85 because they have, you know, they probably getting them cheaper buying and, you know, distro like that. But, God damn, 190, $111.99 for each car that's a dollar set. No, no, do not buy this case at that price. Do not buy this case at that price to get Bumblebee. Okay? I don't care what you do. Do not do that at all. And this is the top of the car. Now, the car does look kind of cool because it's got the Transformer logo on it. But the fact that it's only one to a case wow that says a lot y'all i mean is it really worth it for some people i mean if you're a hot wheel collector and this is probably and you got one this is a treasure hunt this is probably going to be it's already 20 up to 20 dollars or more on ebay for one the cheapest i've seen to sell was eight bucks so i don't even want it because you know what's going to happen they might do a premium i'm just waiting on the premium and that'll probably be cheaper than the main line, but it'll be better than the main line. But that's just my speculation and my opinion. But personally, I do not need this because I would never, it just, it serves no purpose. And I'm not going to overpay for a car that costs a dollar. This had rubber tires, they made this like a super hunt or even packed it as a regular treasure hunt with just the circle logo. Bet that he probably good at that because they got the Autobot logo on it. So what are your thoughts? Leave it down in the comments below. Are you going to rush the store and get this or are you not? Super Robot Ed, bring you more news reviews. 